Ladies and gentlemen, the time is finally here. Today is the launch of my brand new custom Pokerand Vault X binders. As you can see, this is a Pokerand and Vault X collaboration binder, and I'm really excited to bring this to you guys. It's really nice. Vault X actually don't do any white binders as of yet, so to have one that is a Pokerand custom one is really cool. We've got red trimming on the side with the zippers, and yes, this is a zip binder, so you can keep your cards completely dust free. And as you can see, if we open this up, you have the classic black, which looks really nice with your cards, and you have this beautiful red space right here. As most of you know, these binders are side loading, so because cards enter sleeves through the top, you don't really want to have a binder that has this part exposed. So the side loading binders are really handy because you can put the card in like that and it's completely, you know, sealed away. And guys, these are available today on Pokerand.net, 6 p.m. UK time. So in just a couple of hours, maybe even right now, depending on when this video goes live. So make sure you guys go and pick them up. They're £24.99 and this is the only ever version of this variant. I'm sure Vault X and Pokerand and myself are going to work together in the future, but this is the only style of this version ever to be made. If we do do more... <laughs> Do do. In the future, it'll be a different design and different color. But yeah, go and check it out, guys. Pokerand.net. I'm just super excited because ever since I first started, you know, YouTube again and I first got back into the game, I've been using Vault X binders explicitly since then. They're the best. They're what I use to keep all my cards in. And I honestly can't recommend them enough in general. So to then have the partnership where we can make this binder together is just, uh, it's fantastic. And it is a dream come true, really, in the collecting in the Pokemon world. So to celebrate the new launch of the Pokerand and Vault X binder today, I'm going to be taking one of my favorite binder sets and taking it out of the old binder and putting it into the brand new Pokeram binder. And you guys know me well. You guys know what my favorite set is. So let's get the cards. Here we go. As you can see, this is what a regular Vault X binder looks like. Still top quality. In fact, it's exactly the same. It's just the Pokeram one is custom and it has a different design. As you can see, we have the Vault X logo here and the Pokeram logo in the middle. Whereas with a regular, you get the Vault X logo at the bottom, but they're still top binders. If you don't want white, go and check out Pokeram anyway, because we'll have other colors too. And we are restocking the black colors soon as well. But here we go, guys. This is my favorite set of all time, Neo Genesis First Edition. And today we're going to be taking these cards out of the Navy Vault X binder and putting it into the Pokeram binder. And if you guys are going to get a Pokeram and Vault X binder let me know in the comments down below what you're going to put inside of it are you going to keep it for some really special cards are you going to keep it for chill and rain vivid voltage what are you going to put into your pokerand vault x binder all right so first things first we're going to have to take these out so i'll do this really carefully now these aren't like psa condition cards i'm not going to get these graded etc but they are still decent condition so of course i do want to make sure i'm still careful with taking these out and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of pile these up in order so that when i put them back in it's easy coming up to the best card or one of the best cards of all time the first edition lugia from neo genesis as you guys can see not the best condition definitely it's i mean it's probably gonna get a decent grade it'll probably get like a maybe i mean a complete guess here a six or a seven as you can see the hollow fall is scratched a bit and the back has some whitening but there's nothing wrong with it in terms of dints i don't believe actually maybe a bit of a lip up there i can't really see in this light but still it looks awesome from the front and it fits in my binder perfectly one thing i've not yet mastered is how to get the camera to actually pick up a good image of these binders because they look awesome with the gloss effect when you're looking at it in real life but with the way i've got the top down camera and the lights it always reflects a little bit i mean it looks pretty good now to be honest but but yeah we've got meganium here another meganium one of my first ever psa cards that i owned i actually bought this from connor from greater groudon or greater gem yeah he sold me my first ever psa card way back in the day that's crazy right it's just crazy to think that like back in the day you know i bought my first psa card from connor and now we're working together and we have that you know relationship with greater gem i think it's really cool here we go as well typhlosion 17. I currently have one of these at PSA right now that I sent him for regrade. Hopefully it gets the 10. Two more 10s are in existence now, actually. So that's kind of crazy. The population was nine. Now it's, I believe, 11. We got the hollow energy as well. Really nice. And I guess those of you who have never seen Neo Genesis before can use this video as like a collection showcase, even though it is just me sorting out binders. I always want to do videos like this. So let me know if you actually do enjoy it. Even like the series that I started, Project Binder, I need to get back to that, actually. I, I stopped doing it because of the I had the break, like a three-week break, where me and Laura just watched Endgame and all the Marvel Universe in order, time order but yeah i need to bring the project binder series back but do you guys enjoy me just chatting and sorting cards out so i've got so many binders that i need to reorganize and put together and i feel like you guys just don't enjoy that so if you do enjoy it i'll definitely try to do more of it and guys look neo genesis it's just so good i think we always focus on the hollows and you know the the secret rare cards more often than we do the commons and, co and uncommons obviously because they're better quote unquote but some of this artwork is in, like look at this electabuzz that is one of a kind magma oh my goodness me it's just the knocked owl is so so iconic Kenzo Gimori. Here we are with the next page. The Togepi is just, it's so cool. Like, look, a little Togepi inside a tree. Cyndaquil and Cyndaquil right here. I've got a lot of these at PSA right now, which is really cool. Chikorita too. It's just an amazing set. I, it's my favorite set for a reason. I've told you guys before why this is my favorite set, but for those who don't know, is because pretty much when I was a kid, my brother used to collect with me and my mom used to collect as well. And when I got onto Neo Genesis, I think my brother stopped collecting and it was just, that's not the reason why I like the set, of course. Nothing to do with him necessarily, but it was kind of when I got older 
old enough to actually appreciate my own collection. Like, I was getting older. I was very young when I first started collecting. Like, I was like six years old. So once Neo Genesis came out, I started to kind of come into my own a little bit with my own like collection. So pretty much long story short, I can just remember Neo Genesis much more than I can remember any other set. And at the end of the day, Pokemon is so successful because of the nostalgia as well. Obviously, like they're doing great things now with the modern cards and also the new games and stuff. But honestly, it's that nostalgia that does bring you back into it and kind of gives you that attachment. So for me, this set just does it for me. I mean, look, as you scroll through the cards like these, it's just, it's just, oh, it's amazing. Like, what a set this is. Here we go, next page. So yeah, it's really exciting for me to get this into the Pokemon binder as kind of one of my first sets in the new binder. Pikachu up next, absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. One of the best Pikachu artworks, in my opinion, of the Watsy era for sure. This Slowpoke 2 is just fantastic. I know Josh loves this. This is a Kamiya artwork. You can just tell. And Kamiya is an artist that is still going today, still making cards for the Pokemon TCG, which is just fantastic. As you can see, now we're onto the trainers. Some really cool trainers in this set as well. Now, I'm not sure if you guys also relate to this. So, I do remember a lot of the old trainer cards. So obviously Focus Band is a unique one, an iconic one that I would remember. But with Neo Genesis, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really know much about the trainers. And that reason is, it, well, it works hand in hand with the reason I mentioned a minute ago is because I was like so young when I started collecting this one. And with base set, you had, you know, Bill, Lass, etc. And base set was everywhere. Everyone had base set. My brother had it, my mum had it, you know, my neighbors had it. And while I obviously knew people who had Neo Genesis as well, this was my set. You know, this was a set that I would focus on only. And as a kid, other than the cards you use in your deck, which I did used to obviously play the game when I was a kid, I just didn't care about the trainers. You know, when you're a kid, you care about the Pokemon, the shinies, you know, the cool artworks. And even though there are cool trainer arts, you know, this one is quite nice. As a kid, you just don't care. <laughs> but yeah, here we are. We're at the end now. Ap apologies for the camera work on here. Like, I just, the light, it never plays ball with me. It's so annoying. I always love this as well. Who remembers first edition energies? <laughs> it's just so cool. Like, I love how in the olden days, like, each set had its own set of energies. And they are part of the set as well. They're numbered. And there we go, guys. The binder is completely empty now. Neo Genesis has been taken out of the Navy. Vault X binder. And now it's going into the Pokerand and Vault X collaboration binder. Look at the color, man. Red is so, so sick. All right, and here we go. This is what a full set of Neo Genesis looks like in first edition outside of a binder and outside of PSA slabs. So if you ever wondered, there you go. And now because we took it out in order, we can simply put it back in in order. There you go. Look at this beautiful side loading binder, guys. Watch me still make a mistake. Even though I took it out in order, watch me still put the wrong card in the wrong space. <laughs> I guarantee it. All right, first page done. It looks amazing with the red. Let's go. Make sure you use the right sleeves for these binders as well. So find a sleeve that fits in. The penny sleeves don't work too well with these binders because they are quite high. Um, so what I like to do is I like to put them in the ultra pro sleeves or any sleeves that are kind of deck protectors first rather than just penny sleeves they just fit nicer and um they're thicker as well so it just looks better in the binder in my opinion here we go this is fitting in nicely and it looks amazing there we go our first double page finished see i've already made a mistake why is clefairy there clefairy should be 29 30 this is 32 that's the oh i've missed it. i've already messed it up guys i've already missed it. what am i doing no 35 goes here 36 goes there 37 is there 34 what, what have i done 39 Okay, 40. There we go. Okay, we're back on track. We're back on track. There we go. Second full page. Looking awesome. Oh, it is just such a great set, isn't it? I love it so much. It's my favorite for a reason, you know? Like, it's not one of those ones where I'm like, oh, it's my favorite. And I just keep saying it. It actually is my favorite. Like, I just love it so much. I think we all have that set, right? We all have that set that we go back to. What's yours? Let me know in the comments what your favorite set is or what your most nostalgic set is. Or let me know the set that when someone asks you or mentions Pokemon cards, what's the first set that comes into your head? For me, it is Neo Genesis. That's why I've got, you know, the full set of PSA 9 first edition. Neo Genesis cards. It's why I've got the the full set here. It's why I'm trying to or I have been hunting down the first edition box, but um, it always escaped me in the last few months. It was a bit too pricey. I lost bids on it. And then when I wasn't buying it, when I, you know, didn't really have the correct funds for it or the correct reason to buy it, then <laughs> it just dropped in price. So annoying. Like, honestly, on PWCC, it was like a certain amount twice in a row, like two, two consecutive months. And then one month, it just dropped loads. And that was a month where I told myself I wasn't buying any cards or anything on PWCC. So that's, that's just typical. And here we go, guys. We're nearly there We're on the final page. I always hate it when there's one card that ruins the pattern. So as you can see on this one, it would be all trainers, if not for that whooper. <laughs> there we go. Nearly there. Now, I'm not sure what else I'm going to put into this binder because obviously, like, I don't want to just keep Neo Genesis first edition in here. I kind of want to... Why is that? Oh, that's what I showed you guys earlier, right? Wait, have I missed the page then? Oh, no, obviously, it's a different binder. It's a different... The other one with the blue one. This is the... Oh, I'm... I'm so... Okay, I'm, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Here we go. The final touches. Energy cards to finish this binder off. And there we go. I'm so excited. The Pokeran binder now has... It's first set inside of it. Let's go. Oh, obviously I've had a prototype for a while, but I didn't want to use that yet. I wanted to kind of like use it when you guys get it. But there we go. The full Neo Genesis first edition binder in the absolutely beautiful Pokerand and Vault X 
find and you can't look you can't even see it on the camera that's why it's so like you know when you have like black on black or you have like white on white it just feels so luxurious so you can see it when you have it in person obviously but on the camera it's just very faint which is awesome in my opinion so check them out guys pokerun.net make sure you guys don't miss out 24.99 and uh yeah thanks for all the support if you do get one of these then i really do appreciate you a lot honestly it just feels so awesome to have like a binder you know what i'm saying like your own binder with a, with a company like vault x as well like Oh, it's just sick. Just like knowing that people are going to have like a Pokeram binder at home just makes me happy and puts a smile on my face. So yeah, thanks for all the support, guys. Thanks for making stuff like this possible. It definitely wouldn't be possible without you guys and your support. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support. And uh, yeah, shout out to Vault X as well for actually letting me do this with you guys because that's amazing too. And yeah, that's it for now, guys. Take care. Oh man, see you guys next time. Peace.